What is going on, grammatical grass growers? My name is Matt Haslam, and today I want to talk about using proper grammar. Well, not really. I want to talk about this grammar Nazis that tossed everybody on the social networks into their concentration camps of grammatical knowledge and how fucking dumb they are. My god, they need to shut the hell up. We all fuck up our grammar once in a while while we're texting or tweeting or whatever, and most of the time we don't give a shit about our grammar. But there are still those people that like to respond with that shitty little asterisk telling you that you spelled the word wrong or used the wrong version of your. I will tweet something like, you're a bountiful barrage of beauty basking in a bed of blankets. Then there will be that asshole that likes to correct me by saying asterisk your spelled with the apostrophe re, which is the equivalent of a person saying, um, excuse me, you spelled your like y-o-u-r. That is the possessive form. What I think you meant to spell was y-o-u apostrophe re, which is the contraction for you are. Oh, really? Y-o-u apostrophe re means you are. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me that. Now I can use the right version of your when I exclaim that you're a cunt. This is Twitter, not a fucking English assignment. If you are able to effectively correct my spelling or tell me which word I meant to use, you obviously knew what I meant to say. So instead of trying to show off your knowledge by pointing out my faults, why don't you just read what I have to say, not bitch about it, and move on with your life. The worst is those people that post the shit telling people to learn the difference between your and your, or their, there and there, or any other fucking words like that. They're acting like they're fucking teachers on a mission to save the world from misused words. It is dumb as shit. OMG, it annoys me so much when people don't use their, there, and there properly. Like, learn the difference. This is usually posted by hypocritical people that are just looking for retweets and end up misusing the same word in their next tweet. Look at that shit. Good one, bitch. Alright, alright. Right, but seriously, are you people running out of things to bitch about? The whole world is full of things to bitch about and you choose grammar. I mean seriously, you can bitch about work, you can bitch about school, you can bitch about your boyfriend, you can bitch about the fact that public bathrooms have the most magnificently comfortable toilets in the world but the whole experience is ruined by the fact that they have single ply toilet paper that rips as soon as you wipe so your finger ends up touching the poop around your butthole and no matter how many times you wash that hand, you have to actively try not to use that finger all day. You can bitch about politics. These are all valid things to bitch about in your life, yet you are still bitching about grammar. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, that's the end of my little bitch session. A wonderfully special shout out goes out to Carolyn Marie. There's her Twitter right there, go follow her. Alright, you know what to do. Go click on the links on the bottom of my website, go to my Facebook page like that, follow me on Twitter, all those links are down there. And I will see you filthy fingers later.